Hey, what's up? Robert here with another Photoshop tutorial from robertsproductions.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to levitate yourself quickly and easily using Photoshop. So the first thing you need to do is get out your old tripod, stick your camera to it, and then take a series of two photos, or it depends on what you're doing, multiple photos. What uh, you want to do is take a photo of the background, and then don't touch the tripod, get your person in there, get them on an object. In this case I use the hamper because that's the only thing I can find. You can also use a chair or uh, anything, but it would be a little bit more work because you'd have to take off all the background. So, uh, and then make the person look like they're levitating themselves. So we're going to click and drag these both into Photoshop. And now we have our person and our BG. So we want to go to our person tab and we want to make sure our move tool is selected. We're going to hold down shift, click and drag this to the BG tab or document. Bring it down and let go and since you're holding down shift it's going to be perfectly aligned. So now we have our person and we have our BG. Now what we want to do is make sure our person layer is selected. We want to come down here to the mask tool and create a mask and then we want to make sure our foreground color is set to black. Then we're going to come up here to the brush tool and come to the brush options and we're going to set the uh, diameter to around 70 pixels it depends on what you're doing and the hardness at around 80%. So now I'm going to zoom in here and while having the person layer uh, mask selected we're just going to simply paint in here with the black and as you can see it removes the white and you can take your time obviously I'm going a little quick you can hit your space bar and just drag around to where you need to go and continue working you can also increase and decrease the size of your brush by using the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard okay and that looks pretty good so also I want to mention let's say you accidentally erased a part so I'm oh 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 I erased that part I made a big hole so all you have to do is make sure that your background color is set to white hit X and that'll swap them and then you can color this all back in so white colors back in and then uh, black erases stuff so let's hit X to swap it back to black bring up the brush size and continue taking away the object okay sometimes when you take two photos the lighting sometimes changes and you can tell that there's a little bit of a lighting difference a slight lighting difference here and uh, I recommend that if you do do this that it is indoors uh, if you do it outdoors sometimes the lighting can fluctuate more often and uh, then you'll have some tricky lighting situations between the two photos. So to get rid of that minor color change down there, all we have to do is click the background layer, uh, go to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and just bring down the brightness. Now this will depend on what you're doing. And then click OK. And there we have it. Levitation in Photoshop. So like I said before, there are many different methods of doing this. Uh, this is just one of them. This is one of the easiest ways. Uh, I'm sure you could do this, you know, if you had green screen or you could just use a pen tool and basically go around the person. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.